Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions and we're back with another unboxing. I have this one right here. That is what we're unboxing right now. The Raiders Turn Poet. I wanted to make sure I said it right. It is right there. They give you multiple angles of each, but this is the website. My birthday is October 7th. Michelle told me there is a website that custom makes official Indiana Jones hats. I couldn't believe. Look at all the styles they have. They have everyone Indiana Jones, a.k.a. Harrison Ford, has worn from every movie. Even, like, when he wore the, like, there was, like, one scene he wore this. Some of them aren't Harrison Ford. Some are other characters. There were way more when I went on, like, a m couple months ago. I feel like there was, like, three pages worth. I guess they got rid of some of them. The Last Crusade Poet one. I like that one. The Mayor. That might be the most ex I Mine was, what was it? 560. That one's probably the most expensive because I think this one was the second most. Either way, you can see the website, Herbert Johnson. They have the rights, obviously. You could see at the top it was the Indiana Jones collection. It's out of London, England. And I ordered it. I looked. October 17th, I placed the order. Michelle showed me it on my birthday. Ten days later, I placed the order. It is now November, December, January, February, almost four months. Not quite, like a week shy of four months. That's not too bad, I guess. On the website, it did say 12 to 16 weeks, I think. Could have been 8 to 12 weeks. Either way, it's here. Hopefully it's in good shape. The only thing that slightly scares me is over here, it ripped. And then it looked like someone retaped it. Now... I'm sure that's fine. They could have done it there, but I'm just like, I, it's, it's honestly as light as a feather. Like it's a huge box, but it's, it's just a hat. So it's extremely light and it was ripped here. So I'm assuming everything is okay, but God forbid I open this up and there's something, I mean, there's something in here. There's clearly something in here, but let's just take the uh, Rambo knife. Those of you who have not seen, it is the heart stopper from last blood. All right, yeah, there is definitely a wrapped box in there, so rush through this. But, um, let's see, is that good? All right. The cat is sitting over here watching me. You guys can't see, the cat is like literally right off screen. Watch, I'm gonna show you real quick. Hello, cat. So here we go. Here is the box that it comes in. It is a Herbert Johnson box, thank God. It's so light. It's like, I mean, it's just a hat, but it is like so ridiculously light. All right, so we got Herbert Johnson Hatters out of London, England. Ooh, I thought I was going to hit the cat. So we got my order form. You can see there. My credit card information's out of it, but you can see all that stuff. And here is the handcrafted bespoke hats of Herbert Johnson Hatters. And it tells you how to maintain it and everything. 1889 established in 1889. So let's get this hat out of here. Here we go, guys. Indiana Jones. Raiders turn poet hat. Let me see you. Let me see you. I don't want to like dirty it up. Yoink. Here we go, guys. The Raiders. It's this guy right up here, right here in the corner. You can see, I mean, a lot of them look similar. A lot of them, like you got a Temple of Doom one, a Raiders of the Lost Ark one, a Last Crusade one. I personally like The Last Crusade the best. The film and the hat. The hat is a little different. It's not as pointy in the front. Slightly different. Over here, you'll see it. Where is it? This one. The Last Crusade hat. It's slightly different, but close. It's it's really close. Either way, there wasn't a lot of options when you order on the site. Even though they're all handmade by order, for whatever reason, they don't offer all of them all the time. Maybe they only do certain ones at certain times. I don't know. 
I'm going to find out because like, look at that gray one right there. I just like the gray one reminds me of like old Elliot Ness kind of look. I don't know. There's a lot of cool ones. They aren't cheap though. Like I said, this was like 560 pounds, which equated to like 700 American dollars, something like that. And it took four months. I didn't realize I would have to take the headphones off, even though that makes perfect sense. So I had to take them off to put it on. And as you guys can see, here it is. It is perfectly, I don't know how this is gonna sound, but it should sound pretty accurate. It is perfectly fitted to my head. It fits perfect, like perfectly snug. You can see it's perfectly round. My sister helped me measure my head. When I ordered it, I'm like, for $700, I'm not screwing around. I'm gonna make sure I get it right. I have a Justified hat in my room too, from the show Justified with Timothy Oliphant. I never got it sized. I was so excited. I didn't want to take the time to measure my head, so I just ordered it and guessed. They're like, if you're this size in like fitted hats, you should be close to this. And I ballparked it and it is off by like an inch, inch and a half and it falls off my head all the time. It's so annoying. I have an insert for it that keeps it like steady. But as you can see, this is like perfect. It literally fits, like I could feel like when it slips on, it's like it has room to breathe, but it like I could shake my head wildly and it doesn't even move. It is perfectly fitted. And that's the one right here too. That's it up there, as you can see. So we got it, guys. We got another one of my toys. Three of my favorite things right now. My Freddy glove up here was supposed to be signed by Robert England. It will be at some point. He had to leave the show I was at, and I was in line. I never got it signed, but it is an authentic Nightmare on Elm Street 4 glove. I want to get the third one, but it is from Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Very awesome. All the blades are real and everything. Then the Dolph Lundgren signed Rocky shorts and an Ego Montoya sword. Those are some of my favorite things that I have in the background. This is now one of them. My Indiana Jones authentic hat. Like I said, I'll get more inside. This is what it says inside. Herbert Johnson Hatters, 1889, London. So soft and nice in there. I love it, guys. It is quite lovely. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons out of what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is down below. Go check it out. We're doing the live stream tomorrow. Legend of Vox Machina ends tonight, Thursday. I'll get them all out on YouTube as soon as possible. They'll be in Patreon in full unedited as well as season one. Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, Death Note, Legend of Korra, hundreds of other shows and movies. Go check it out. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.